Welcome back to episode 8, part 2 of our San Juan Fort Tour. Last week we left you at our uh, tour of San Felipe del Moro, and we watched some of the kite flying, and this time we make our way through Old San Juan to San Cristobal, the fort there. We hope you like our videos, and if you do, please like and subscribe. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you for joining us on this week's Next Trekking Adventure. Okay, so when you're going from fort to fort, you just kind of follow the sea wall, and we're just gonna stay on this path and just kind of walk. The unfortunate thing is it's all in the sun, and it's all uphill. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all cement. And it's all Stone. cement, yeah. So, old rock, that's okay. And, uh, on this side of us is Old Town um, that we're going to kind of walk around, but it's not bad. I, again, you have an, at least we have a breeze, and uh, you know it's low 80s, so and we're getting used to it. And we're getting used to it. Yeah, yeah, we're almost. We're almost natives, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is our home right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our <laughs> so we have been on the go, go, go uh, since we got here. Um, so the first week, uh, Terry had pre-planned vacation. So we went to the island. Of Vieques. We spent six, seven days there, um, fell in love with that little island, came back to our Airbnb here uh, off of Ashford, and now we want to kind of take in San Juan and what San Juan has to offer and show that uh, to you guys. So we've got one fort down. And uh, we're attacking the walls of the second fort. And that fort is in sight. Ready to mount bayonets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got about a 30 yard sprint and then we're done. So if you're within 30 yards, look out. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at the fort. So it's a little over a half a mile walk between the forts and I'm not including the big grass uh, yard there uh, in front of San Felipe uh, but once you get on the, the sidewalk you just follow the seawall you're heading east uh, and you'll hit uh, San Cristobal the fort there uh, interesting as you walk the uh, streets you'll see some just beautiful buildings and well maintained the problem is that I figure is no matter how well you keep yours up, you could be attached to something that's not well kept up. I don't know how that works, but that makes me a little nervous. Anyways, we make our way along the uh, street and uh, the coastline there. It really is a nice walk. Uh, and eventually we make it to the uh, gates of San Cristobal. All right, well, so that wasn't such a bad uh, walk. And we made it to the next one. And again, a 
adults ten dollars. San Cristobal for twenty. Okay. So we are gonna charge the wall, but you know, after walking up this big uh, big hill in the heat, these cardboard cutouts of soldiers probably gonna were enough to stop us. <laughs> So, you know, these guys, uh, that's enough deterrent right there. They don't look big, but they look mean. <laughs> Who could fight in this heat? <laughs> What's all that? Yeah. yeah, so we're going to go in here and show them our receipt. We, uh, we made it into the fort, we found a nice little place to sit, and we, if you sit where there's a turret towards the ocean, then you get this breeze that comes through these windows. Uh, we're going to have a little Scooby snack um, and some water. Uh, we recommend, we, we brought our little thermoses, we filled it full of ice, um, and uh, that you have some of those when you uh, tour around uh, these forts. So comfortable shoes, lots of water, maybe a little Scooby snack, some peanuts. Yeah, you know. We came at 9:30. No, actually, we'll find out what time it opens. Yeah, uh, but yeah, come early, and you know we could wait um, and tour this one. Um, uh, later on in the afternoon when it starts to cool, but I think we want to get our fort stuff done. We really want to see it. We're going to put up with some heat uh, because then we're going to go find a really cool place to eat. So we're going to grab some water and a Scooby snack and get some energy and uh, we'll see you in a few. So I thought I would try to explain the three flags and the way the three flags fly over the forts. The first one there, the Red Cross flag, is the Spanish flag of war. The second is the Puerto Rican flag, and the third is the United States flag. And since these forts were taken over from the Spanish, uh, that is why that one is still flying as a matter of respect to the and the historic nature of these forts. San Cristobal was mainly built as a land defense. Uh, of course, they had the capabilities of firing out into the Atlantic Ocean there, but they had these tunnels uh, built so that the troops could move safely from location to location. And the amount of time and detail to these forts is just amazing. Uh, they also, uh, there was some prisoner cells in here. This particular cell had some drawings that they had uh, preserved of a Spanish galleon. And it's believed these drawings were done by a Spanish captain who was going to be executed for treason. Uh, and that's probably not 100%, but that is what the sign says. Um, but it's kind of neat that they saved these uh, drawings. So we're in the spooky tunnel. This is one of their defense mechanisms that they could uh, go from one end of the fort to the other. It's a long tunnel. Mm -hmm. the end and it would come out to there.
before its day, this would have been a real formidable defense. And you just get the magnitude of how big and powerful this fort was. And these walls, the thickness, um, and how well it would defend against attack. Especially in the 15th, 16th, 17th centuries. And to get a feel as to how the troops would have climbed up these little banks and had firing positions here. Uh, in the distance uh, you see the Capitol building and gonna come into view is a little dot and that's a Coast Guard helicopter that for two days, a uh, really sad story, um, were, was searching for a young boy who uh, went swimming and we'll cover a little at night and uh, uh, got carried out to sea. We'll talk a little bit about that um, on another episode. So up on the roof of our second fort. And this fort was pre predominantly built uh, for ground attack, so they couldn't get to the other attack that easy, but they did, they have access to fire at, uh, uh, on the beach, but, uh, yeah, for the most part, this was built, uh, to prevent, uh, ground attack. And here, I'm going to show you some, some more of the residents here. So this is be this would be what your barracks would look like. And then in this one there's a stairwell up to the upper deck. business end of a cannon. How do you feel about spooky stairs? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take you up some spooky stairs. <laughs> This is the highest point of the fort, so when you come walking out here, you see where the cruise ships come in. You also have a good uh, overlook of Old San Juan, so that's what we're looking at now. That's Old San Juan. And then looking to the east as we spin around here, um, you can see the Capitol building. And they're holding protests uh, there or rallies. Uh, that day, there was some uh, COVID uh, demonstrations about the lockdowns and uh, different stuff happening. So uh, periodically, you can hear them yelling into the speakers. The Coast Guard helicopter is still doing search patterns out there in the ocean. Uh, but what a beautiful day uh, to tour the forts. The wind makes it very bearable. Going down. <laughs> Whew. 
Whew, it's hot down here. There's no wind. Well, we stormed the gates. We lost. And now we're getting escorted out. And here's our escort. <laughs> so, we had a good time. And uh, we're leaving now. Uh, the forts, uh, mainly because we're getting escorted off the property, and we will see you down. You're getting escorted by me because I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Mama raised no fool. Uh, we walked down to get Miss Terry some food and just got to enjoy walking some of the streets of Old San Juan uh, looking for a restaurant. So what do you think of these streets? Tiny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So for all our uh, RV friends, yeah, don't even think about it. <laughs> our big trucks, well, you know, I know they drive big trucks around here too, but yeah, you're going to be pretty miserable. Ah, oh, there you go. And there's a little view of uh, the streets as they go downhill. Real, real cute. Cobblestone roads. Pretty awesome. Probably Uber or taxi to get here. Um, leave your car if you've rented a car. And uh, that way you don't have to worry about the parking and driving around, navigating. And then just get out and walk. It's really uh, easy to admire the charm of the oldest city in the Americas and as you walk these streets thinking of all the history and how many years they've been here and the purposes that they've served over the years, we were really blessed to spend the day here in Old San Juan and the forts. Well, that was our day. We saw two forts, Old San Juan and uh, I don't know, we did almost five miles of walking when it was all said and done. I'll share the trek. <laughs> we didn't get to share our uh, lunch experience because the whole county, in fact, like seven counties are without electricity. So uh, if they had natural gas, uh, they could fix foods or the fryer for some reason yeah. must be on natural gas. So we had fried food, something we didn't want to do. No. <laughs> but um, anyway, we had a great day. Yeah, this was a good day. So we're going to uh, walk about a oh half mile to get out of kind of the traffic so the Uber can pick us up easier. And the cruise ships are coming in. And the so. cruise we yeah, and the cruise ships are coming in. That guy's just parking right now. There's another one that just parked. Uh, so, hey, we'll see you on our next trekking adventure.